Chromecast. Okay, I just got it yesterday from Walmart. Um, they're going for $32.88. I think with tax, I'm picking it up at the store was $35.18, which I think is not bad. Instead of waiting the, the week for it to, to arrive, if you buy it in the internet. So we have the Chromecast open now. Okay, so we have the connection, um, USB, in case your TV doesn't power up via USB. It does say this is the recommended setting um, to connect it to the wall outlet. This is the extension for HDMI. As you can see, that also comes with it. Um, this is the Chromecast. Okay, it does have a, a button there. If you notice, it does specify on the manual that if you hold it for 25 seconds, the button, it does a factory reset. Okay, and this is the cord that powers up. Okay, as you see, there's a micro USB. And here is the USB. Okay, the micro USB goes to this slot. And the USB portion goes to the power outlet. Okay. Okay, as you notice, it's connected to the HDMI on the TV. This is the extender. This is the Chromecast. That white line there is where the light turns on. And this is the connection that goes to the power outlet at the wall. And this is in back of the TV. Second option is that you could connect it to the USB. As you see there, it says USB if you don't want to connect it to the wall. So it could get energy from the TV. But as the recommended settings it says it's better to connect it to the power outlet at the wall. That's the one I'm going with. Okay, it's turned on for the first time. Okay, as you notice there, it went from 720 to 1080. Um, the screen flashes as the process go. So now it's on the setup page. Okay, so now we have to go to chromecast.com slash setup. Okay. Went ahead and went to the page. So it's going to be on. Um... Okay, so it says go ahead and hit continue. Right now we are in the setup page. Okay, so it says Verify that everything's connected. Number two, hit the cast button. Okay, we go ahead and hit that. Then hit options. Okay, it's gonna take me to this screen. I'm gonna go ahead and add. Okay, I do notice that the name there and the one on the TV are the same. I'm gonna go ahead and set up. Okay, hit continue. Okay, as it's searching. Okay, I noticed that the screen did change. Okay, and that the code on the screen and on the TV are the same. So I go ahead and hit continue. Okay, so this is when the password comes in. did go through as you notice the background did change this is with the new update you notice to the right hand side you got the time and I guess the author of the picture um, to the left hand side you have the name of the Chromecast which you could change on the phone Android app Chromecast you can change the name okay here as you notice with the new update that they did, they did add some new apps. You notice they got Netflix, HBO On The Go, Hulu Plus, Pandora, YouTube, Google Play, TV and Music, 
Google Play Music, Bevo, Red Bull TV, Zongza, Plex, Post TV, Vicky, Real Player Cloud, and Cast a Chrome Tab is in beta version. So if you notice, um, that means that there's they're still experimenting with it. It's still not the stable version, so there could be some glitches. But that is a good thing. Let's go ahead and try that to see. So I'm gonna hit the cast button. Then I'm gonna pick Chromecast with the number. It should be casting any moment now. So you notice now we do have the laptop and the TV going at the same time. Okay, there is a little lag. You saw how I dropped it down. But you know, to tell you the truth, it does look good and to be in, in beta version. Um, it's really not that bad. Okay, let's go ahead and try this with a YouTube video now. Here, stop casting. Okay, as you notice, the TV stopped casting. Okay, now we're going to go to YouTube. In YouTube, this is one of my other videos. So you click on the cast button, and then you pick the device. This is in case you do have more than one device. You go ahead and click on it. I do notice that the resolution on the TV is a lot crispier and better. Um, as you notice, it does buffer. Um, but once you do Hello. get it up and oh, running, is, uh... it does work great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Going for... mute on that. Okay. So it does work good. The other... A good thing that I did notice, and this is a trick. Um, the only thing about this trick, when you go ahead and do this, um, and it keeps playing on the TV. The only thing about that that you do lose the pause stop skip button um, that you usually do get i tried this on the phone too it does work once again on the computer so what i'm going to go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and stop casting. As you notice, you could pause here and change the volume. Um, as I said before, that's when you do open it, the tab. But the good thing is that you could go ahead and do it without the tab open. So let's say you do have one in the room. You could go ahead and send the Netflix for the kids, let's say. Okay, I'm, we're gonna go ahead and try to cast the tab okay let's go to Google okay this is another trick that I noticed that you could do let's say I'm gonna take some pictures let's say from Key West I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them there on the browser and you see how it went to the TV I tried with videos but I noticed it does skip I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one too and there you go. So let's say you could be in the living room, in the room, you want somebody to see a picture, but you don't want to go all the way to the other room. You could go ahead and do that. It takes a few seconds, but it does work. So what happens is now you get the option of playing. So that would stop the video that's currently playing or add to TVQ. So this is adding it to the TVQ.
Okay, so as you notice, I got the video playing right here. Um, so you can go ahead and drop that down and start looking for other videos. So let's say I pick another video for myself. So that's the same one I was playing. Um, let's go ahead and pick this one. See, it gives you the option play or TBQ. So what I would go ahead and do is add it to the queue. So that means after this video finishes, it's going to go ahead and play that video. You hit here, TVQ, you see the two videos there, and they would keep playing. So let's say you could take 30 seconds of your time, add the videos, and just sit and relax and watch videos for a couple of minutes without having, having to stand up, change the channel, or anything. You do have already a queue going on. And as I said, you can always close out the tabs, turn off your computer, put it to charge, 